How's it going everyone? My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily design something to scale in Illustrator. Um, you also want to begin by making sure your units are in inches just by going to File, Document, Setup, and change units to inches. And now let's say that we know the size of the tire. Let's say that is 15 inches. Uh, seems reasonable. You want to just get your square path tool and make a square around the tire. And I'll actually just switch that around and make an outline, make the center transparent so I can uh, get a better view. Um, this seems about right. So the next thing we want to do is create a clipping mask of just the tire by selecting your object and the background. And I'm going to hit Command and 7 to create a clipping mask. So now if I go to the width and the height, and actually um, I should have made that even. So I'm going to just uncheck the link here and let's go, not 12, 15 inches, 15 by 15. And then we'll want to release this clipping mask. I actually forget the shortcut for that. So that is just under clipping mask and release. And so the image should be in two scale now, um, assuming the tire is 15 inches. So now if we go to our door and actually what I like to do is just to make the artboard the uh, fit to the artwork so you don't see a little square in the center there because that's kind of distracting sometimes. So I'm going to just grab, um, I don't know, let's make a star. Because your client wants a star that is 12 inches wide for some reason it needs to be a foot and we'll make it the color of the tire because that is a beautiful color it's kidding that's not really beautiful let's make that that and yeah there you are <laughs> i know we've been pretty inactive on our channel and all of our socials as of lately but i'm excited to finally announce that all my time has been going towards our merch shop on mind island design that we are releasing this year or early next year. I'll include a link in the description when we finally launch the shop. So yeah, I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, please hit subscribe and follow us on all of our social medias to stay connected and never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.